Hello everybody and welcome back to The Body Coach TV. This is day number six of my seven day senior workout challenge, which is just 10 minutes a day to pick up your vibe, get you feeling strong and hopefully put a big smile on your face by the end of the workout. So there's 10 moves, we're gonna do 35 seconds of work on each exercise, followed by a 25 second rest, and we're gonna just go through the moves together. If any of the moves aren't suitable, you can ignore them, miss it out, or switch it to something else that you can do that you feel comfortable doing. So first exercise, nice and simple. We're just gonna step like this and throw a punch. So you're sort of stepping left to right, just keeping the, um, keeping the heel sort of towards your bum. So you sort of step and punch, nice and slow or fast, whatever works for you, off you go. So it's 35 seconds. And I really hope you enjoy the challenge so far. We're on day number six. Well done if you've completed all six days. Um, if you have missed any of them, you wanna go back, they're all there. They're all uh, numbered like day one to six and you can go back at any time um, and pick them up, do them in any, any sequence you want. But the, the aim is just 10 minutes a day for seven days to really get you moving. Right, step, punch. So nice straight punch, sort of eye level. Come on, let's go, step it out. Almost there, five, four, three, two, one, and relax. We now rest for 25 seconds. So next thing I'm gonna try and do is like a sumo, um, like a bit of a pulsing squat. So I don't expect you to get, you know, right down into a deep squat, but if you can, slight bend of the knees, which is gonna pulse. And as you go through, obviously, you can, you can go a bit deeper if you can, but it's really just a little pulse. So just down and up. Here we go, so just pulse and stand. If you need to, you can put your hands on your knees to support you a little bit. So feet are turned out wide in that sort of sumo squat, uh, squat position. And again, this is just about gently lowering yourself. And think about these muscles, you've got to wake them up, strengthen them. It's never too late to get strong. It's always, there's always an opportunity to get stronger and fitter and healthier. Just one day at a time, just tiny little bend in the knees. If it's too much, keep it shallow. You know, the muscles still work, and even at that tiny hinge, they're still firing up. And relax, perfect. Right, we're now gonna try something quite challenging. First of all, it's gonna require a bit of balance. So we're gonna try and do like a, a lunge, like hold. So all you need to do, first of all, is just put your right leg back, left leg forward. First of all, just get used to that position there. That could be your starting base place. Then obviously, if you wanna make it more challenging, you start to just bend that front knee a little bit. So just get that position where you're comfortable. And let's try and hold this now. If you need to, you can put a hand on the knee. You're gonna have a bend in this knee, a bend in this knee, and you're trying to just feel that both legs are having to really work here. But even standing there, you're still gonna feel something. So just think about creating that space, nice balance, either have your arms out to the side or on your hips. And we're just trying to think about the more you obviously bend this knee, the harder that's gonna come. So if you need to, hand on the knee, support yourself. Come and feel the strength, really strengthen up now. Five seconds, hold it, it's tough, it's tough and slowly come out, feet together. So it's quite a challenging one. Obviously, the stronger you get, the more you're gonna to have to bend those knees and really get into like a low lunge. But just for now, keep it nice and shallow. So step back so that they're not completely in line, they're a little bit, bit of a diagonal between the feet. So you've got already just there, your balance, right? So stable, hold that balance, look straight ahead. And then when you can, if you can, just slightly bend that knee. So you sort of bend that front knee, bend that back knee, whatever angle that is, what, what then it could look like that for you. It could look like that. Just whatever it is, and you're not Just try and hold the balance. Hand on the bent knee if you need to. Right, come on. These muscles can get stronger. Regardless of your age, you have to always think about that. You can get strong, you can develop fitness, you can build things up. You just have to put in the work and, and keep coming back. Consistency. Six seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, step forwards, and relax. Well done, good effort. I mean, these are, these next are gonna really strengthen your leg around your knees, you know, your hamstrings, your hips. So it's a really good little challenge. So what we're gonna do now is just a kind of nice, simple march. Um, we're gonna bring our knees across the body if we can. So you can bring your knee right up, or you're coming right across, or you can just keep it lower. Just basically a march, but not just coming straight forward, come across. We twist the body slightly. That's it, so I'm bringing my elbow to my knee. But this is number five, only five more moves to go. Let's go, so drive. And we can, again, I'm going quite quick. 
slow it down. One, back, two. So it's just about scaling it back or picking it up, depending on your fitness. 10 seconds left. You're doing really well. Come on, keep it up. All the way. Five, four, three, two, one. And relax. Perfect. Right. Next one I'm going to do, we're going to go through a kind of, like a squat. We're going to just sit down and then bring our knee up. So squat, knee up. So it's just a slow movement. Again, you don't have to get really deep. It's not the aim. The aim is to go where you can. Knee up. So squat, knee up. Squat, bend the knees, drive that knee up. Come on, weight these muscles up, these muscle groups, these, the quadriceps, the glutes, and the biggest muscles in the body. We've really got to strengthen them. And never feel like you can't build your strength up because you can, honestly. You can be as fit as you want for as long as you want. You can just keep coming back, putting the work. Drive that knee up. Squat, knee up. So it's really challenging our balance. When we step that foot off the ground, it's creating that. You know, you've got to really use the core because you don't want to fall over. So it's just a little, even a tiny raise of that knee, foot, makes you lower that leg, the stand leg, so really good. So next up, if you can, we're going to go down on the ground. If you can't, stay standing, do another march on the spot or something, but we're going to try and do a glute bridge. So we're going to lay flat on our back, and we're going to drive our hips off the ground. So this is about hamstrings and glutes. So you sort of drop, bum towards the ground, and then lift it up. So this is working the posterior muscles. So we've done a lot of quad work, front or sort of front and legs. This is about doing the posterior, the back. So those big hamstrings and glutes. So you sort of drop down and push up. And the angle is meant to lift your hips as far off the ground as you can, activating those muscles. Squeeze them. Drive up. Last few seconds. Perfect, right. So slowly sitting up. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna come onto our a kind of um, all fours just like this. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna kick our left leg back. So from here, we're just gonna kick and then down. So kick, so the leg comes out nice and straight. We're trying to kick that leg up. So again, this is really gonna do hamstrings and glutes. If you need something on the floor, put a little mat or a little cushion under the knees. We'll do it on a soft carpet. That's it, so just, you're trying to kick that leg up as high as you can, nice straight foot. We're working this left leg for now, then we're gonna switch and do the right side. Brilliant, come on, and again, keep kicking. This is in that left side now. Strengthen these muscles, come on. One more rep. And relax, perfect. So we rest. Again, if it's too hard on the knees, get a nice soft cushion or pillow or um, fold a towel up under there. That will help. Just take a bit of pressure off the kneecaps. Um, and if you can't do these on the floor, just do another, you know, set of squats or march on the spot. Whatever works, you just don't feel bad if you can't do every exercise. I'm just trying to give you some variety of that. So here we go, right leg comes up now. So knee hits the floor, bring it down, and then just kick it up. That's it, we've got one more move after this. Last one. Day number six complete. Come on, kick up. I hope you enjoyed the challenge, and it's given you something to focus on. Hopefully giving you a little bit of motivation. Right, keep it going, eight seconds. The most important thing with fitness is just keep coming back. Last second and rest. Right, we're now going to just gently stand up. So just slowly standing up on two feet. Um, yeah, consistency is the most important thing. And I always remember, you know, why exercise? It's not just about physical strength. It's about mental health. It's about feeling good, feeling a little bit more positive, a bit optimistic. And you know, I think it's amazing whether you're a toddler or a senior citizen, whatever it may be. However, however old you are, it's amazing. So the last one I'm going to do, we're going to swim like we're doing some front front crawl. So just swim nice and fast as if we're doing front crawl. So really sort of reach, reach forwards, slight bend in the knees, and then just go nice stretches, 
Obviously, this is about creating that movement through the shoulders. Stretch. Come on, front pull. So really push and pull. Last 10 seconds. Come on, this is it. Last little push, right? A little sprint finish. Sprint finish. Five, four, three, two, one. And relax. Perfect. Well done, we did it. There it is. 10 moves, 10 minutes. That's day number six. It is a seven day challenge, but by all means, continue. Come back. You can do any of these workouts whenever you feel like it. And always remind yourself how you're going to feel afterwards. You feel more energised, you feel happier. Just gives you that little bit of a spark. So well done. Thanks for joining me. Please share it with your friends and family. Let them know about the seven day challenge. And I'll see you soon for day number, well, I'll see you tomorrow for day number seven of the seven days of sweat. Good luck.